don't say a word to my wife about this. You see, my wife is a wonderful, wonderful lady. Beautiful woman. But you see, this is what happened. I bought this stool and I, it was all nasty and green and ugly and I cleaned it up and redid the, the top to it, the seat to it, redid the legs, put it together for my shop. And she fell in love with it and took it from me. So I have this devious plan to get it back Come with me. Let's, let's figure it out. You and I together, let's, let's make it happen. But don't say a word. I know, my shop's a mess. I get it. But my wife, I got her out of town just for a few hours. Got her away from the place, her sister's over. I told her sister, take her somewhere, keep her for a while. I gotta fix this. So, what are we gonna use? Check this out. Look at this stool. It's solid. It's not moving anywhere. I mean, look at the bottom of it. There aren't even fingerprints about around the bottom here. See, look at this. No fingerprints. Usually when people grab stools and chairs, they grab them like this, and they're just nasty and dirty all the way around under here. This one's hardly been used. The only problem with this one is the top is just hit. Look at this, I mean, it's got some black stain here. It actually looks like the people who owned this stool set it somewhere and put a plant on it, and that's all they did with it. And every once in a while they'd move it around, and that's the scratches. And, but then they got this black stuff on here. They didn't know what to do with it, so they just got rid of it. I picked it up for $2.99 at this outlet store. So how are we gonna fix it? Well, I also know, because this has to be special for my missus, that this is her favorite color right here, this green. So I'm gonna clean up and sand off the top of this and paint the top of a green, leave the legs the same color that they are, and let's see how it works out. Well, I'm going to start out with some 60 grit to just rip everything off of here, and I'll smooth it out with some smoother stuff later. Well, now that I've got all the finish torn off of it with the 60 grit, let's go with some 120, and let's clean it up and make it nice and smooth, and we'll see how far we can get with it. Well, as I suspected, I couldn't get all the black off of it, as you can see. I did reduce it a lot, but it's really sunk into the wood quite a bit. So I'm not, all I'm going to be able to do to this now is paint it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it clean, mask this thing up, and put some of that pretty green paint on there, and then surprise my wife with it. Okay, when you're going to paint the top of one of these uh, stools or, or something like this, you really want a nice clean line where the, where the paint ends and the wood begins. You know, it's just a little more professional looking. So the way I like to do it is I take a pencil and I draw a line around the base. And I use my finger as a guide and I just go all the way around. This isn't the part they're actually going to be looking at, but it will draw the eyes if it's not right. So now that I've drawn that, I take painter's tape and I tape to that line all the way around. And I do it with short chunks because it's just easier to handle. You know, and it, it helps you Keep that nice, crisp, clean line all the way around. And there, you can see how that's nice, crisp, clean line. And I'll just continue that all the way around. Okay, you can now see what I did. I got all this masked up here and pushed up in here tight. I used a trash bag around the bottom. So I won't get any paint anywhere but on the top where I want it. And I'm going to be putting it on thick, so it should look good when I'm done. So let's get to painting.
here we are, the finished product. I'm about to do a unveiling, so to speak. I'm going to pull this plastic off of here and see how it turned out. See the nice line? That works out really good. That is one nice line. My wife's going to love this.